morning, ladies. I'm back. I wanted to show you my Saint makeup again. I'm getting ready to to go to like a an event tonight. I have a sip and shop with my uh, boutique hat, so I'm wearing one of my Hawaiian dresses that I sell. And I was just gonna do real quick makeup again. Um, we talked about this yesterday. This is the Saint makeup. It is a cream-based makeup. Once you get color matched, it's like paint by number. Uh, we've been doing this a little bit this week and I have picked up some makeup tips that I'm just gonna try out for the first time. Um, the first being, this is contour. This is an olive contour, and I'm actually putting it a little bit higher than I was putting it. This is supposed to lift my face. Okay, and again, for the gels, I just like to sort of erase that little part that's hanging down here. Um, as well as up by your forehead, by the hairline. So again, that is my olive contour. Next, I'm going to move to my highlights. I have Aura and Sandy, and I just use a mixture of each. Um, as Julie said, you're gonna kind of just start Go down the center so that you apply the lights and the light in your face goes through the T. I'm trying anyways. Let's see what happens. Okay, so then we're just gonna put a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Um, switch it around. Get this blended in. She said it's just a dabbing. So that you're not moving the creams around the face. Now, when I get to the top part, I do kind of brush that in. This part is an upward brush as well, up and back. Just try to cover up my eyes just a little. I want to put it in the corners. I say that that is where your shadows show the most. So if you can get that part, then you look like you don't have any bags. Okay, next I'm going to do some lip. This is Sangria. And again, it's just a heavily pigmented cream that your skin just eats up. Loves it. Don't want to get this all over your face. Kind of blend, blend, blend. Okay, bronzer. We didn't do this yesterday. 
So she says it kind of goes, this is no coverage really. It just gives you a glow and you go into three. And lullaby. The lighter color I place all over my eye, all the way up to my eyebrow. And we're going to do that on this side, all the way up to my eyebrow. Okay, you can see how this eye, it's kind of like a lazy eye, whatever. Anyway, so this darker color, we're going to put above that and only the outer half. Okay. Okay, so now, because it's kind of a special occasion, we're gonna bust into this. This is more of a, this is one of the lip and cheek colors, and I think it is called, um, La Cienega. Anyways, it's, um, really creamy this one is and it has like a nice shimmer it kind of tones down the the harshness of that uh sangria color which i love but doesn't go with all my outfits so put that on i also want to try i don't usually do this so i'm probably going to stab myself in the eye um i'm going to try this brown color right here on i think i'll have to go over here and do it as an eyeliner but i'm just going to do it on the top Can you tell the difference? This side or this side? Well, I can. Okay, on uh, next. The other thing we haven't done is there is this illuminator, the rose gold illuminator. Again, it's almost the same as the, um, the bronzer. You're going to do the, the three. Then I take it a little bit extra and put right here on the outer part of my eye. And it just gives a little sparkle shimmer. One thing I do like is if if your eyeshadow goes out this way, you just take the other and and you're able to get like a defined line. I think it's defined anyways. All right, well. <clears throat> that is about all the makeup that I like to wear 
it's a little bit more than I like to wear. I am going to maybe do something over here. Yes. 